Hear this, an almighty, all-knowing, all-powerful God is sitting in heaven waiting to hear from you. David says that he has his, ha his hand cupped behind his ear, listening for his children to ask him for great and mighty things that we know not. He's listening for us to pull down the strongholds of addictions that enslave our families, to pull down the strongholds of abortion and pornography, to pull down the demonic forces that are destroying the government of the United States. So what does he hear from our lips? Oh God, watch over the parakeet and water the grass. Let me tell you something. When you walk through these doors and you lift your hands to pray, I want you to remember that you're talking to almighty, all-knowing, all-powerful God, the creator of heaven and earth. The blast of his nostrils can split the cedars of Lebanon. He holds the seven seas in his hand. He weighs the mountains in a scale and the hills in the balance. You can ask him for things so staggering, so big, that God slides out of his chair and sits on the edge and says to the angels, did you hear what he said? Ask him, ask him, ask him for things that are impossible because with God, nothing is impossible. Ask him to defeat the giants in your life because our God is a giant killer. Ask him to divide the sea before you and to bury Pharaoh and watch him turn your enemies into fish food. Ask him. Ask him to send fire from heaven as he did for Elijah and he will. Ask him to walk with you in the fire of the fiery furnace and be the fourth man in the fire and he will. He said you will walk through the fire and the fire will not burn you. You will walk through the water and the water will not drown you. Ask him. He's the God who cannot fail. He's waiting to show you. you to have that power. You are made in the image of God. God is not a statue. He speaks. He thinks. He talks. He feels our infirmities. He answers our prayer. He's the light of a in heaven saying, what do you need? Do you need healing? Ask in faith, believe it, and I will give it. Do you need supernatural wisdom to make a tough decision? Ask of me, and I will lead you in paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Do you need peace that surpasses understanding? Ask, ask. Believe, no good thing will he withhold from those that diligently seek him. Do you need the impossible? Then open your mouth. Open your mouth in faith, believing. You're not talking to the President of the United States. You're not talking to Bill Gates. Both of them together can't control their next breath. You're talking to the Creator of heaven. On a thousand hills, he uses gold for us on the streets of heaven. He moves mountains. He divides seas. He'll give you wells you didn't dig, vineyards you didn't plant, houses you didn't build. He will make you the head and not the tail because nothing, nothing, nothing is impossible to you.